Um, well, thanks for joining us, Scott. Um, I suppose the question is, how can a, a team produce two con such contrasting performances in, in consecutive Saturdays? Um, complacency, probably. I um, just want to start by, by apologising to the fans. I know they come up in their numbers today, and it's a long journey. Um, stood in the rain um, and then watched that, so I apologise for that. Um, I don't know whether it's a case of we had a bad day at the office or it's a case of we're starting to believe our own hype and we're not quite there yet um, and then we, we feel that we can just turn up and not run around and and be really good with the ball and that's going to be enough because it's not you know it's not going to be enough um, and I've told the players it's not going to be enough it's not acceptable to play that like that today so what are the basic things you didn't do that you should have done run um, Drop on second balls. We didn't have any um, defensively. We were we were, we were schoolboy like. We um, we didn't rotate well enough. We never played through over or around their press. We never we never was, you know we never got in their half of the pitch and played around their box. We never created. I don't even know what we created. We didn't create anything. Um, really poor performance. Yeah, um, they they sort of seem to put a lot of men in your in your half. So what what was the sort of difficulty of, of playing around them? If you know? just wrong choice and wrong decision making. You know when they when they come after you and press you like that, you've got to play round for all, all over the press. And we never got that right. You know there was opportunities for us to spin stuff down the side of them. We turned them down. There was opportunities. Um, to play through the press, we turned that down. I think the first time, and probably the only time in the first half where we got through them, was where Saidu Khan gets on the half turn. He's got 30 yards of grass in front of him and decides to pass it, and then ball turns over and he gets booked from it. You know, and that was I don't know what minute that was, but it was quite early on in the game. And you think right straight away we're making wrong decisions once we're through the press. But that was the only time really I can remember getting through their press, um, which is disappointing because we've been very good at that. Our movement wasn't quite right, you know, we didn't rotate out, we didn't run high, uh, like definite movement to, to get in behind them. Um, yeah, we just really poor today. Was there any sense of that beforehand in the dressing room? Did you get any kind of feel or vibe for it? No, I think, uh, I think that's... I think we actually, if I'm honest with you, the first probably five minutes of the game, I'm thinking, Mark, we, we, we look like we, we're going to be OK, you know, we look like we started well. Um, you know, in them first opening encounters, um, but then we're, we're slow, we're ponderous, we're lethargic, we're not. Our distances were wrong. We're not running hard. We're not chopping on second. But I think Johnny Williams is the only person who, who won a nether in the middle of the pitch. Just, just not like us at all. Um, are you frustrated? Your subs didn't have more of an impact. Was it actually quite hard for them to to come into a game when the the starting eleven is off? The game's gone by then, you know, especially the later ones. You know, the game was kind of done, done and dusted by then. Um, but yeah, it was, you know, poor day for us today. And like I say, I'm really disappointed. Um, I wanted to do well for the fans because they've been good. Um, the FA Cup's always for the fans, you know, to to go through to the next round and see on Monday who we're going to draw and hopefully progress again. But not to be. Um, but also, it's a it's probably a learning curve now. We've got to, you know, we've got to see how we react from this. I know how I will react, you know, um, by just working hard or working even harder, um, and which I'll be expecting my players to do the same as well. Uh, what's the news on Tom Clayton, Ben Labrin, and, and Fraser Blake Tracy? So Fraser Fraser Blake Tracy was uh, cup tied in terms of his loan. They, Burton wouldn't give permission for him to play. Not cup tied, but he, they wouldn't give him permission to play. Um, ben Glad uh, Ben Gladwin needed a rest. Um, the, the, the long journey to Bradford and and the tough game last Saturday uh, took a real toll on him. Um, he was dead on his feet pretty much all this week, so I felt that he needed a rest. Um, who's the other one? Uh, Tom Clayton. And Tom Clayton, he's got a, he's got a grade two tear in his thigh, um, so he will be out for probably around four weeks. Mm -hmm. how, how concerned are you about the 
suddenly the level of central defensive cover at this point. Well, yeah, it's a, it's a concern. Um, obviously, Angus is out, and um, um, you know, and, and Tom Tom Clayton now. Um, so yeah, we're concerned. Um, you know, and, and um, we'll just have to assess that and, and, and look what we're going to do for next Saturday. It feels like it sums up your day that we can see Conor Brown, your reserve goalkeeper, getting taken off on a stretcher after something has happened in a in a warm day. Yeah, I've just seen that now. Um, I've got no idea what's happened. Just before we started the interview, I looked round to the right and seen a commotion going on. Got no idea what's gone on, uh, so I can't give you any update on that. Um, so yeah, don't know. And let's, let's try and end on a positive note. Um, win for Chippenham, Harry Parsons and Harrison Linton involved. So how, how pleased are you for for them to go out and be, be part of a, a famous day for them? At least? Have they won? Have they? Yeah. Oh, that's brilliant. You know, we, we spoke about sort of like Harrison and. And Harry getting minutes, uh, it's a good loan from both, you know, it's local and we can keep our eye closely on them and it's a great loan from. but we, we spoke about whether we wanted them to be cut tied or not but we thought that it's such a big game for them to play in and we felt that it would be only beneficial for their development um, to play in that game so I'm really pleased that they've both played and, uh, and obviously gone through. Thanks for your time Scott, much obliged. Thank you.